Sure, I'm Jim Howard. Chip Howard, to probably some of you in the audience, I'm a clinical neurologist and um, I received my initial training at the University of Vermont and my neurological training at the University of Virginia. Joined the faculty at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill in 1979 and have been here ever since. Through this career, I have been the chief of the neuromuscular disorders division as well as the director of the EMG laboratory. And over the last few years, I've been transitioning solely into clinical trials and translational research and letting my junior colleagues do the day-to-day -day nitty gritty work, so to speak. My focus uh, has been in neuromuscular disease and specifically myasthenia gravis for uh, since I was in training. And um, we have a very large myasthenia population, about nearly 1,600 patients in our database and about 200 plus patients active at any moment in time and very involved in the clinical trials for the new therapeutics that have blossomed over the last 10 years to treat myasthenia. Myasthenia gravis is in a revolution. Um, in previous, we borrowed all of our immune suppressants from transplantation colleagues, oncology, um, and patients were disturbed by the, the adverse event profiles they experienced, uh, the long time it took for a drug to begin working, sometimes nearly a year, um, and the nonspecific nature uh, of these. And we've been fortunate now to be in a period of time where we have targeted therapies that are addressing the underlying pathophysiology. And with that come reduced adverse event profiles, faster onset of action, and a much better quality of life. And so we're in the, the infancy of this revolution, if you will, and the pipeline is, is absolutely loaded with new targeted therapies that are coming to trial over the next several years. We've recently run a clinical trial uh, in which individuals who have been treated with an intravenous complement inhibitor have been switched to Xylucaplan, uh, another C5 complement inhibitor, but very unique in that it's not a full-size antibody. It's a 15-amino acid macrocyclic peptide. And rather than being administered either every two weeks or every eight weeks by intravenous infusion, this is a very simple daily, uh, once daily injection, about a half a cc, uh, much like a, a diabetic receiving insulin. Um, has been very well tolerated uh, by our patients who have been in this trial, and we've seen no degradation in efficacy. They've actually maintained their ability to um, uh, maintain the, the improvement that they, they have. Xylucaplan so offers some advantages in one that um, its storage is um, at room temperature once it's received from the pharmacy. And because it is self-administered by the patient, one can simply pack the syringes in their suitcase and go for vacation for the businessman who has to travel. Um, and not have to be tied to a very specific um, infusion center uh, to receive uh, their drug. And so patient choice, patient freedom, we think is paramount. Also, because of its design as a, a, a peptide, uh, it can be com potentially can be combined with other therapeutics that full-size antibodies cannot. And the one we're looking at and someday hope to be able to run a trial in would be to combine it with a FCRN, a neonatal FC receptor inhibitor. The mechanisms of myasthenia are multifactorial. Uh, two relate to antibody itself, in which antibody binds to the receptor complex and sterically hinders transmitter getting to the binding site. It also accelerates a normal turnover process of the receptor complex. Um, and then the antibody binding to the receptor activates terminal complement. And so by simply treating with complement, while we see substantial improvement, we still have antibody floating around. 
and there is no way that we can inhibit 100% of the antibody. And so some of us have believed, should we consider combinational therapy? We do this in oncology all the time. Um, and does it have applicability in autoimmune disease? And, and perhaps it does. Uh, cost is the elephant in the room, and uh, because these compounds are expensive, um, and that may be the limiting factor, but from a scientific uh, perspective for uh, answering questions, um, there is a possibility that combinational treatment could yield better results um, uh, more durable results, if you will, than isolated treatment uh, alone. I think the new frontier in autoimmune disease in general may well be CAR-T. Uh, we've, it's been around for a while in oncology uh, and it has shown to be very successful in, in the oncology space for certain tumors. And we now have preliminary data of CAR-T being effective in systemic lupus erythematosus, as well as in myasthenia gravis. Um, there are different technologies for CAR-T. One is based on changing DNA. The other is based on changing mRNA. Um, and both have advantages and disadvantages. Um, with the mRNA approach, which we've been involved with, um, the, the durability is not permanent, but could be long lasting. We've seen patients go in excess of 12 months, nearly two years uh, in clinical remission. Um, but the advantages is that there are none of the, the, the side effects that one he, hears about using DNA approaches in terms of cytokine release syndrome, the, the cytokine storm, uh, the neurological complications of CAR-T, and we've seen none of that. Um, so is one better than the other? We don't know. There's not been enough data yet. We're still in the infancy of this, um, but I think it's an area that for autoimmune disease in general is going to explode over the next uh, year. I, I think the, the therapeutic landscape for myasthenia um, is now achievable. No symptoms, minimal to no side effects. Um, and it's taken us, what, 300 and some odd years to get here since its first description in the mid-1600s by Sir Thomas Willis. Um, but this, uh, this achievement is in the future and nearby. Um, and it is a revolution in terms of how we're going to manage our patients. Um, the old standard of care, um, I believe, is ultimately going to go by the wayside with our new targeted therapies. And for that, our patient community is extremely gratified. We're happy as a clam, so to speak. <music>